Hey guys, so I decided to film a Q&A YouTube video. So I have a bunch of questions written down in my notebook. I asked Instagram and I asked on TikTok if you guys have any questions to comment on the post. So I received a bunch of questions, so we're gonna get started. Okay, so if I pronounced the name wrong, sorry, y'all know I suck at that. But the first question is from Simply Bunny Nails. How many hours a week did you practice when you first started? So actually, I did not practice at all. I was practicing while doing clients. I did go to school for nails, which I'll be linking the video to that in the description. I did go to school for nails. They did not teach me nothing. So when I got out of school, I was like, well, what the hell? How am I gonna learn? How am I gonna get better? So that's when I decided to do full time. So I was actually practicing while doing your guys' nails. So shout out to you guys for letting me do that. Plus I was only charging 25, so it wasn't even that much for the sets. And honestly, they were not that bad for being a beginner. So I'll be posting um, pictures of my beginner work, which like I said, obviously they're beginner work, but it wasn't that bad. The second question is from Nails by Epsi. What is the last thing you would do if you only have hours to live? I would go to an ASAP Rocky concert. That is my freaking baby daddy, period. Nails by Epsi also asks, who is my biggest inspiration? Which I have a ton of them, a ton of them, a ton of them. I'm just gonna be posting their screenshots in the video. Those are my biggest inspiration, bomb ass nails. I will get there, I promise y'all I will get there. I'm manifesting it, putting it onto the universe. I will get there. Also, she asked, when did I start? Um, so like I said, I went to school in 2018, December of 2018, worst nail school ever, graduated or got graduated. T, but finished nail school in May and then started doing it full time. So technically what I consider my nail journey experience, which I have the exact same date because I saw some video, some old DMs between me and a client. The day I went full time was actually August 27th. So that is the day that I will celebrate my one year anniversary, which would be August 27th because that is when I decided to do full time. And that is when I was real life practicing on you guys. Giselle Lara asked, do I plan on doing pedicures? No, <laughs> um, not right now. Like, I just want to focus on acrylics first. If I end up working at a salon or opening my own salon, then maybe I will do pedicures. But for right now, it's going to be a no. I actually really don't like feet, but no, I don't think so, honestly. So Cam's 98, how do you get a good apex? I got this question asked a lot. Um, practice, like I really can't tell you, girl, I'm sorry. You just have to practice. What I do is with where I want the apex to be formed, that's where I'll add a lot of the acrylic. And then you can always file it off to the shape that you want, but that's just how I do my apex. I just add a lot of acrylic to where I want it to be. Um, so I hope that helps, sorry. <laughs> um, blooming nails. What is your favorite clear acrylic to use? Mia Secret, so freaking good. Mia Secret, bomb. I actually love Mia Secret products. When I first started off, that was all I bought. Then my boyfriend bought me the Valentino colors. So shout out to him, shout out to my baby daddy. But yeah, Mia Secret for sure, I love it. Next question. How has business been lately? Ashley Reyes asked this. Business has been booming. Thank you guys. I for real, for real, for real, for real, thank you. Being quarantined truly sucked. I was not doing no nails, super depressed, super anxiety up the roof. Practicing, my boyfriend also bought me those colors. Um, March 20th is my birthday. So he actually surprised me for my birthday with the Valentino colors. And as you know, that is when they announced the stay home order. So I have not been able to use the colors since I've been back to work. So I was very sad. So now I'm happy and plus I'm busy, booked and busy, not complaining, love it. I do plan, on, I want to move out next year. So I'm not complaining that I'm booked all day because you know, you, in order to work, in order to get to places that you want to do, you have to work for it, okay? Let's be real. Money doesn't come not doing anything. So love it. Ali loves, where do you see yourself in the next couple of years? Definitely not in Illinois, I hope. <laughs> I do want to move out of my this state. I live in Illinois. I feel like I'm not meant to be here. So hopefully I am not in Illinois. Hopefully 
I'm still doing nails, maybe a business salon owner, manifesting it. But yeah, I don't know. We'll see what the future holds. Definitely no kids. Definitely no kids. Estefa. Estefa. I'm just going to say that because I can't pronounce it. Estefa Ning Jing 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 T asks, how much did you charge when you first started to do nails? So when I first started to do nails, which I know a lot of people may not agree with this because some people say charge what you're worth. But I, okay, when I first started to do nails, I was charging $25 a full set. I started in late August, $25 for anything you want. Designs, crystals, encapsulation, glitter, ombre, anything you want at $25. And I was doing that until December. So I recently just changed my pricing. Most people will not agree with what I did, but it's all strategic. My goal, I'm money hungry, yes. But I'm also very, very patient. I know money will come in different ways. So first, I have to get myself better professionally and with, with my work. And then I can charge the $80, $100 that nail techs charge. But for right now, um, I'm happy with my pricing. My prices start at $35. And the most I've charged for a set is $75. That is the most I've charged for a set. I'll so I'm happy with my pricing and this is so strategic, okay? So I'm not trying to get comfortable. Like this is just how I think. A lot of people may think differently, but this is what just been working out for me. Priscilla asked, what is my favorite music? If you're my clients, you guys know what I'd be playing. I play Summer Walker. I like more like soft music. Not, I. I can't listen to rap no more. Like, my rap is stuck in 2018. Like, I have not listened to the new rap. Sorry. I mean, I don't know. I just kind of grew out of it. I like more, like, the soft music. Like, I said, Summer Walker, um, Kalani, um, Old School, Ja Rule, J-Lo. Um, um, Mexican music, too, sometimes. Sometimes I got to be in the mood for that. Reggaeton all day, too. I be jamming out to Bad Bunny. Leanne Mel also asked, was it hard doing nails slash learning nails? Yes and no. Was it hard learning nails? Yes, I just can't, exp uh, yes and no. Yes, because I didn't know what I was doing. I had to learn a new skill right away. No, because you can get better the, work, the more you do it. You know what I mean? Like, it's just the more you do it and the more consistent you are with it, the better the progress will show. So yes and no. D Nails asks, how to prevent nails from lifting? This, please go by her. She is so bomb. Also, um, probably the prep um, prepping your nails and your cuticle application. You gotta make sure you don't put a lot of acrylic on the cuticle because that will cause flooding and lifting so that'll it just a it can be a lot of things um but i do recommend buying her for sure and sorry that my um that you guys just probably saw how my thumb skin is all ugly for some reason i don't know what's going on i'm getting like these like um balls like like i don't know my boyfriend said they were like um como se dice um ampollas but they don't hurt they like i even had one in my pinky and i had to take it out and then on my thumb and on my middle finger for some reason i'm just getting like these pieces of skin and then i'm like taking them off because obviously i'm a nail biter so sorry if y'all just saw my <laughs> fingers <laughs> stephanie avacero asks favorite nail set gonna be posting some pictures of my favorite nail sets i love all the nails that i do all the girls that i meet what made you start your own nail business um like i said before it just worked out the way it did and i'm very grateful it did because the moment i did nails for the first time i truly loved it truly truly loved it i loved the whole process i took five hours doing that nail set it was my sister so shout out to my sister I took five hours doing her nail set and it was it didn't even feel like five hours. It felt like an hour. It didn't even feel like an hour. It felt like 15 minutes. Like I honestly 
I loved it. And I wanted, this is, I knew since then that is what I wanted to do and I was going to do it somehow. And I knew it was going to take a long time, but I got very lucky with the Twitter exposure because that helped my nail journey very early on. So I was able to practice every day on a client, charging only 25 for whatever they want. So I got very lucky getting that Twitter exposure at the right time. So that's what's been popping up my business ever since. And also just being barely active on social media, um, made a YouTube channel, which I have 700 subscribers. That is so awesome, y'all. Like, uh, I'm, I just can't explain, like truly, truly grateful for support. And it, like, y'all, we about to get so deep right now, okay? I struggle with depression and anxiety and I'm very hard on myself and I didn't think I would ever feel the happiness that I do because I've been very sad for so many years and I didn't think that a feeling that a feeling like this existed. The last question, how long do you take doing your nails? So I get asked this question so much. How long should I take? What's a good time? This is my opinion. I don't think there is a set time that you should be doing nails. Obviously four hours, three hours, okay, that's a lot. But two hours, an hour and a half, an hour, I think that is the perfect time for Instagram nails. Obviously at a nail salon, if you're getting one solid no chip color, yeah, that should be very quick. Especially a fill, it should be very, very quick. But a full set, designed like Instagram nails, an hour and a half, two hours, sounds fine. So that is the end for the questions. Thank you guys for replying to my videos because I had asked you guys to ask questions. So shout out to you guys. I'll be posting another video soon.